Hey guys, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to design your own cartoon dogs. So come on, let's get started. Well guys, here on this channel, we've drawn lots of different dogs, right? We started with Goofy and Pluto. We've done a couple other things. And then we did a video about a year ago where I showed you how we can design your own kind of cartoon dog off of pictures, right? So recently I got a message saying, well, those were great, but how do we take care of other breeds of dogs? So I threw it out to you guys. And the most popular uh, breeds were the Chihuahua, the Bulldog, and um, I decided that uh, I would draw in our own dog, Rusty. So um, let's just show you how to tackle different kinds of breeds. All right, so I'm gonna do it all on one sheet of paper here. So we're gonna show you, uh, let's see, let's start with the Chihuahua. Now the Chihuahua is fun because it is a very uh, cartoony looking dog to begin with, right? So we've got this major part of the head here and I start with a, a slight oval and um, I'm gonna bring down the vertical and the horizontal nice and low. They have a very small snout. So I keep that snout nice and close to the body, right? And um, the other part that is very popular with those Chihuahuas is they have very big, very rounded, very bulbous eyes. Right? So here we are. We've got basically your main features of a Chihuahua. Right? And then you've got these great big ears that don't really look like they belong on a dog this size. Mother Nature has a fun way of playing with shapes too. Okay, so now I've got these triangular shaped ears, right? And um, let's see, let's, let's dive deeper into that ear shape and we'll yeah that's appropriate just like that I'm gonna give it a little hair right there in the corner of the ear and now let's play with this head a little bit so their eyes like I said they they, they bulge out of the head and it's fun to play with lower eyelids on these on these breeds. So I'm gonna do that as well. And I'm gonna give a little bit of, of a ridge, a bump right above the head there. When those eyelids close, this all comes down with it. Now, let's see, I'm gonna make him a happy little guy. Just like so. Little lower lip there, the jaw shape. And there you go. Now you don't want to come away from the head shape if you really want to push that this is a chihuahua. Right? Now there are lots of famous chihuahua cartoon characters already and I'm trying to avoid going anywhere near those features. So here we go. And then you can throw in <laughs> your little body shape and just really, really over exaggerate the fact that his head is humongous. That is one way of drawing a Chihuahua. Now, like I said, let's throw in a bulldog. So the bulldog, I'm gonna start with an oval again. You'll see why in a second. And then what I do on top of that oval, I'll throw in a very curvy M shape. And then what I'll do is I'll throw in the vertical axis and the horizontal axis is gonna go way up here. 
Bulldogs are notorious for having tons of wrinkles. So I'm going to give them a nice brow and some eyes here like this. All right, this guy is looking a little fierce, uh, but that's okay. That's partially why bulldogs seem to be the the old uh, nemesis for cats in cartoons, right? Because they always looked like they were up to no good. But this guy, this guy's going to be an exception. Okay, so we got a nose right up here like this. And then we're going to come down. And then we're going to give it a big shape like this. His lower lip will be up here. Give him bottom teeth like that. Just kind of protrude out. Like so. Now you can draw a chin here if you'd like. And then some wrinkles down here. And now you see this shape here. Well, that's because we've got jowls, right? He's a bulldog. So. He's going to have very long jowls like so. Now, of course, we've forgotten to throw in some ears. Now, their ears are pretty lopped over. So we'll just let them hang like that on either side. Keep them even on either side. But for the most part, you can't go wrong there. And now, so that I don't make him look angry, I'm not going to let the pupils of his eyes touch that brow at all. As a matter of fact, I might... I might just do this. Yeah. Just like that. And if you wanted to draw in his body, well, that's where you can continue the fun. Draw in a nice big oval here like this. Give him very short, stubby legs like that. And then, if he's sitting, we're just going to tuck a little bit of hind leg behind him like this. Okay, so like I promised, now I'm going to show you how I cartoon my dog, Rusty. So with Rusty, I've got almost like a diamond shape that goes on with his fur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the circle. I'm going to give plenty of room there for his brow. And then here is where I keep the horizontal line. Uh, he has very fun ears that, uh, depending on his mood, uh, they usually flop right down. I love when he keeps them nice and straight up. He's part German Shepherd, part Lab, part Akita or something. And, uh, but he's, he's all love bug. This guy does anything he can to keep you happy. He's been very good to us. Very, very lucky to have him. So he's got these great big wide eyes. And this beautiful little snout. And like I said, his fur kind of makes a diamond shape. This is where that German Shepherd part of him comes out. So he's got those great big ears and then he's got those tufts of fur and then comes down. His nose, I usually start with a, an oval like so. 
and I will bring it down to a point. Just shade that part in and when he smiles, it's big. So if his, if his mouth is closed, I'll just give him a little bit of a, an indication right there. But when he smiles big, it's open. And that tongue just comes right out. I'm gonna do that here. Okay, so now with his breed of dog, he has a nice big thick neck. And his chest and it comes down here like this. I'm just gonna have him sitting up, so. Just gonna show you here how his anatomy goes. Just like so. And then, I mean, we're cartooning this guy, right? So, we're gonna exaggerate his paws a little bit. When I draw Rusty, he's not really a, a Disney or a Warner Brothers looking character, um, which is fine. You don't want everything looking like you just ripped it right out of a Looney Tunes cartoon. Um, but I don't think he would really go very well in uh, an Oliver and Company short either. So we got the his belly down here and then his feet come out like this okay all right and then his hind legs look like this from the front it's all about observing and drawing what you see not drawing what you know you start drawing what you know and your dog that you're drawing will likely end up looking like you just made it up on the fly and it doesn't really look like anything out of nature I'm gonna give him his nice big fluffy tail off to the side like that Okay, and I caricature his eyes. He smiles really, really wide with that mouth, but he also smiles with his eyes. One thing about Rusty is the lines around his eyes are very dark, but these eyes are just so full of admiration. He is a rescue dog. He landed on my front door by accident um, and at first I wasn't sure that I should really be doing it at all but then I met him and I, it was all over he he shakes he's very skittish uh, he was very nervous at first but he warmed up to me pretty quickly and uh, well we've been very good friends ever since and then because we're Red Sox fans here. Yes, we are. I'm gonna give him his Red Sox collar and let's see, fur going over that a little bit. And then the Red Sox B right there. And there you go. All right. All right, guys. Well, there are three different examples of how to successfully caricature cartoon dogs. I wanna thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. And until the next video, we'll see you later.